Okay, for this week, okay, this is chapter nine, lesson one. Okay, we're going to be talking about properties and equations. Okay, it says take apart to multiply. Well, when they're asking you to take apart a number, meaning to decompose it. Okay, when you take apart or decompose, ooh, that was important. You might want to highlight that or underline it. Decompose a factor. You have smaller numbers that are easier to multiply. So, for example, if I have uh, the number seven, okay, and I want to decompose that number, what two numbers give me seven? Four and three. Four and three. What else? Three and four. Three and four. What else? Five and two. Seven and zero. Well, I already have seven. I want to decompose seven. So seven and zero wouldn't work for me. Okay? Or six and one, right? Those, those are three ways. So look, it says find seven four times seven. Okay, use color tiles to make a a four times seven array. Draw the array. So this is what they want you to do. So I have four rows. One, two, three, four, four rows. Okay. So seven rows, but how many in each row? Seven. seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the last one's seven. Now, so draw the array. We did that with tiles. You can pose one factor. It looks like we're going to take seven apart. Okay, so separate uh, seven columns into five columns and two columns. Okay. Uh, so they took this one here. One, two, three, four with five in each. Like this. And then they took this column and separated it. So I have five times four and two times four. Okay. So now the, the multiplication sentence that, that I'm going to write, I have four times seven equals four times five first, which was this, okay, and four times two, which was this array of tiles. So what's four times five? Twenty. Twenty. And four times two? Eight. eight. Okay. Obviously, it was easier to, to multiply four times five because we know our fives and we know our twos already. Okay. So they decompose <clears throat> seven into five and two. And then what do they ask you to do at the end? Add. Add. So 28, 20 plus eight would be 28. So we know that four times seven is going to be? 28. That's one way to solve that problem. 28. Explore more distributive property. Adrienne's classroom has four rows of desks with seven desks in each row. How many desks are there? We need to find four times seven. We can use the distributive property of multiplication to take apart numbers so we have parts that are easier to work with. First, let's model four times seven. We can use pattern blocks to make a four by seven array. Next, decompose one number. We will decompose or take apart the seven. To do this, separate the seven columns into five columns plus two columns. Finally, write a number sentence. We decomposed four times seven into 4 times 5 plus 4 times 2. 4 times 5 equals 20, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now let's add the products. 20 plus 8 is equal to 28. So 4 times 7 equals 28. There are 28 deaths. Okay, now let's try it. This is Gretchen. Cut. Six oranges into nine slices. Okay. 
each. How many orange, orange slices are there? So now I need to find six times nine. Okay, draw an array, draw a six times nine array on the grid. So the first number tells me how many rows. So how many rows do I need? Six. Six. So let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, six. And then how, how many uh, in each row? Nine. Nine. So that's three, six, nine. So there's my array of tiles. Array of tiles. Obviously, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? You get the picture. And then in order to find 6 times 9 using the array, I just have to count all the squares, right? So now it says decompose one factor. It says draw a vertical line through the array to decompose uh, the factor of 9. So now I'm going to draw a line down the middle. So it looks like I'm going 5 plus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the, the part that I'm decomposing right here. So now I have 5 times 9, and then I have 4 times 9. So they decompose 5 and 4. 5 and 4. So now they're gonna, you're going to have 6 times, 6 times what? Six times five. five. Okay, we're, we're trying to find what six times nine is. We decompose nine to five and four. Now I'm going to have two multiplication sentences or equations. So I'm going to take the first one, five, and I'm going to multiply that six times five plus six times four. four. Okay, well, six times five is? Six times five? Thirty, yes. And six times four? Twenty-four. 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 And then at the end I have to add. So thirty plus twenty-four. Zero plus four is four. And three plus two is five. So Six times nine is zero plus four is four, three plus two is five. So six times nine is what again? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. So there are how many orange slices? Fifty-four. So they, we divided this. And now I have 6 times 5 and 6 times 4. This is 24, and this was 30. And when I add both of those together, I get 54. So on number 4, it tells you to use the color tiles to model the array, decompose one factor, and then find the product for each part. So it looks like we're going to be decomposing 7 or 6? Six. 6. So? I can figure it out like this. Well, let's see. I know I can go three times three. Okay. I can go two, two and four. I'm going to go two and four. So, two. So, this is where I want to divide it right here. So, I have seven times two, and then I have seven times four because two plus four is six. So, seven times two and seven times four. I know that seven times two is 14. And 7 times 4, oh, we did that one already, so that's 28. And then I need to add those, 14 plus 28. 4 plus 8 is 12, put the 2 down, carry the 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3, plus the 1 that I carry is 4, so that's 42. So 6 times 7 is going to be 42. 
So on number five, I have to decompose the seven because I want two multiplication sentences. One, one here, and then one there. So I have to decompose. Well, the two numbers that give me seven could possibly be three and four, two and five, six and one, right? Yeah. For me personally, I'm going to use two and five. Because I know what 8 times 2 is, and I definitely know what 8 times 5 is, because I know my 5s, and I know my 2s. So I'm going to use 2 and 5. So I have uh, 8 times 2. I'm going to divide this right here. So here I'm going to have 8 times 2, and then here I'm going to have 8 times 5. So 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 5, I know that's 40. So then I add those. 16 and 40, 6 plus 0 is 6, and 1 plus 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, so that's 56, so 8 times 7 is 56. Could I use 3 and 4? Yes. Could I use 6 and 1? Sure. But if I don't know what 8 times 6 is, I might have used the other two numbers, right? So look at number 6, it says 7 times 9, so it looks like I have 7 rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then nine, uh, nine in each row. Okay, and it looks like I want to decompose nine. Well, what two numbers give me nine? Five and four, five. four and five, or five and four. What else? Three and seven. Three and seven, or two and seven? Three and seven. Three and seven is ten. I want two and seven, that's nine. Six and three could also give me one. Okay, obviously eight and one can do that. Okay, so I'm probably gonna go with, well, I love my fives. I'm gonna probably go with four and five. Okay, so I'm gonna go four, seven times four and seven times five. And it says to color the array two colors to represent each number. So I'm gonna use my highlighter. Oh, I thought I would. Okay, maybe not. So here's one right here. Four. And then here's this one right here. Five. So this was uh, seven times five. And this is going to be seven times four. So if I, if I colored all those in. And then I use my green. Christmas colors. <laughs> that was my mistake. <laughs> there you go. Something like that. Okay. So seven times five is? 35. 35. I'm going to use that as green. Seven times four? 28. And then it tells me to add. So 28 plus 35 is 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 more is 6, so 63. So that's 7 times 9 is 63. Okay, for number 7, now I have to decompose 9 a different way. So on number 6, I used 4 times 5, right? So now I'm actually going to use 7 times 3, 6 and 3. And let's do it that way. So 7 times 6 is 42. And 7 times 3 is 21. 21. And I add those. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 4 plus 2 is 6. I still get 63. Now you're going to use manipulatives, okay, to make an array of tiles and decompose the number. And I'm just going to give you a multiplication equation or multiplication sentence. And you have to use the tiles to uh, and decompose one of the numbers to uh, give me the product of that uh, number sentence. So let's start with, let's go with three times seven. Let's do that. 
So here's an example. So three times seven. So it looks like I'm gonna need So three times seven, that means I'm going to need three rows with how many in each row? Seven. seven. Okay, so three times seven, here's my array with tiles that are, uh, help me solve what three times seven is. I'm going to decompose seven. So now I'm going to decompose three times seven. So I'm going to, I'm going to use, uh, oh, four or three. I'm going to use that. No, you know what? I'm going to use five and two. So I'm going to go three times two plus three times five equals, I wanna know what that is. So I'm gonna divide three times two, that's here. Three times two and three times five. Well, I know three times two is six. Three times five is 15. And then I have to add those. So 15 and 5 plus 6. 6 plus 1 is, uh, what, hold on. Let's do this. Do those. Do those. And there we go. So now 15. Plus six. Five plus six is eleven. Put the one down. Pair the one. One plus one is two. So that gives me twenty-one. So I know that twenty-seven times. Uh, ooh, let's do purple. Set three times seven is twenty-one. I like that. How do I? Uh, you see the little colors at the bottom right here? Yeah. The colors there. And if you click on one of the colors, you can change the color of the pen. So now what I want you to do. In order, to, to, in order for you to erase the whole thing, you, you have the trash can here, then you have the little printer there, and then the third button from the from the uh, from the right. It has the X with all those shapes. Click on the sh on, on that one, and it erases everything for you. Okay. So now what I want you to do is you're going to do uh, five times. Let's go five times nine. Let's do that one. 